Okay, let's build a moon phase spinner. You should have three sheets of paper. One is like this page that you'll cut out and it'll look like a Pac-Man shaped. This is the cover. Then there'll be a bottom page that just has eight wedges and you'll notice it says start and it has an arrow going in this direction which should go counterclockwise. There's also a page that had all of these pieces that you'll cut out and they're all numbered and they correspond with this chart here. So like this one for example is new moon and you see it says number one there and the next one number two says waxing crescent and the two there. You'll take these and you're going to glue them down starting with number one at the start spot and you want it so that when the overlay is put over top you can actually still see it. And you do want to keep an order, very important, you have to keep an order going counterclockwise. So my number two would go here, and number three would go here. You'll see I'm kind of turning those because when this turns, if I didn't turn it when I placed it, it'd be kind of like upside down later on. So here's number four, and turn it, and number five, and turn it. So when you're done, it'll look kind of like that. You'll have them all on there, and then you'll take your overlay, and you'll place it over top, and then, of course, it works like a spinner. So you'll spin it like this, and you can see only one phase at a time. So the Pac-Man's mouth opens to whatever phase you're trying to learn. And that's how it'll look when it's put together. All right, so the tricky steps are to take your, your paper, and you're going to try and find about the middle of it. You'll take a paper clip and bend it so it looks like that, kind of like an L. Poke it right through the middle. And now on the pointy side, next thing I'll add is my pie that I've already glued, I would have already glued on the little moons. I put that on. And then lastly, I add the Pac-Man piece. And if they're all lined up centered, it should spin and stay on top. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it flat on the table and I'm going to put a little piece of tape here, maybe two little pieces of tape, to cover this paper clip that's bent over. And what that'll do is it'll allow for the top spin like that. Now I do want to add a little glue to the white and push it down and then the white will stay attached right to the green and when I turn the spinner it'll spin like this. On the flip side this really would probably just be fine like this but I like to take my other piece I'm going to put it right over top and I'm going to use some more tape I'm just going to go around the perimeter of this and it will spin around inside just fine but what it keeps it from doing is getting caught on stuff when I'm trying to study and things like that. It makes a little pocket. That's why I just go around the perimeter when I put the tape on. Okay, so that gives you kind of an idea. And you'll notice that these are numbered 1 through 8, just like before. And what I'll have you do is write number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, 6, 7, and 8, and label what the, what the phase is. So number 1, we started with a new moon and then you go on through and it will correspond with this here. And as you can see when I spin it it'll be spinning just fine because the spinner is hidden inside on that pocket on the back spine. And that's it. Thanks.